Assalamu alaikum ya, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone is, is ready for, an ep for another episode of Hashtag LNT. You guys know what number episode it is? Um, if you've been following up, then uh, it's episode 18 of this very uh, special show, Ramadan special show, coming to you live from the holy city of Karbala, of course, with myself, Ahmed Ali. Uh, now, uh, tonight's episode is very special. Uh, if you have a high temper problem, then uh, tonight's episode is right for you. Because um, uh, I'm going to give you some tips uh, for the night. So what you guys have to do is wait a little bit to go see what's trending. And we'll be back. For me, I'm calm. Right now. But I don't know what's going to happen in five minutes. But let's go check out what's trending and come back very short. Please stay tuned. Once again, welcome everyone for joining us tonight. Now... Um, once again, I do welcome you to a, a, another episode of this special show. Um, now, you already know uh, we are the coming live from the holy city of Karbala. Now, there are new promising news uh, that research uh, scientists are able to, um, to find out in early stages if a person has cancer or not through um, uh, new biopsy tests which are uh, available out there. Um, now, 10 cases were revealed that uh, early stages of cancer and it's very easy for people to get uh, treated. One great idea um, is always go, go do get checked, especially if a person within your uh, family, God forbid, has cancer. Do, so do go and check uh, within uh, your clinics, your hospitals and stuff. Uh, very important for you guys. Uh, and as everyone knows, getting detected uh, early stages is better than later stages because it's it's very hard uh, to, 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 to get treated. Now, another uh, another uh, topic or another uh, what's trending, which is unfortunate. Um, uh, e. coli is back in the States, uh, killed five uh, and uh, 197 right now uh, are struck with this um, disease and it's unfortunate that it came back but uh, in Arizona the guy uh, five people died and it's unfortunate as I mentioned but uh, let's hope uh, the cure is um, so th th the reason behind this is because of romaine lettuce um, I'm, I'm not gonna say why uh, because uh, if, if you know the agriculture and how lettuce is grown you probably know why E. coli uh, is back but um, let's go and jump in and see if I'm going to be angry tonight or not. So let's go and do that. Now, as we all know, humans and animals go through mood changes. I mean, if you don't treat your dogs and your cats well, they're going to be upset. So give them those treats. Humans, on the other hand, when, uh, when they accidentally drop their phones in water, or when they're uh, about to hit a car uh, coming high speed in their way, just like what happened to our uh, co-producer, Ali Jassim. Um, you know, his, he, he, he drops in Nahr uh, al with his phone, the Huawei. The phone is dead now. He's angry. He's pissed. Uh, but, you know, the guy, he's, he's, he's cool-tempered, so he didn't get angry. Uh, but uh, when humans uh, do get angry, um, they tend to start swearing a lot. Whatever is near them, they throw it um, out of anger. And uh, sometimes they end up uh, beating up their friends or the person that made them up, uh, angry. But sometimes, and majority of the times, a lot of people regret what they've done um, after a while, which is, uh, it's, it's, it's very common to see that. A lot of people say some random stuff and then they regret it after. On the other hand, a lot of people say that when I do get angry and I express my anger, it relieves it because keeping it inside is sometimes it may it might be dangerous because it, it, it might kill some brain cells. Now, anger is a problem that a lot of people, a lot of people in this world, um, face. Uh, and uh, tonight we're trying to talk about something very important. We're trying to talk about how do you manage your anger, and that's your question for tonight. How can you manage your anger? Now, if you have special tips that you use. Um, appropriate tips, of course. You can let us know at plus nine six four seven seven four zero six seven eighteen thirty six. Everyone that participates through via WhatsApp, of course, or free, 
free, th there's no charge. Uh, call via WhatsApp, voice message, text message. Um, everyone that does that, their names will place in this fishbowl right here for a chance to win a free trip to Karbala. We're also live on Facebook. So do go on Facebook at Imam Hussain 3 tv Check us out there. Give that thumbs up, comment. All the people that comment, answering tonight's question, not Salam Ya Hussain, answering tonight's question, their names will be placed in this fishbowl for a chance to win a free trip to Karbala, exclusive on our house, along with other giveaways. Hopefully in tomorrow's episode, we'll have those, um, we'll have those uh, gift, giftaways and giveaways uh, on this desk right here uh, to show you guys. But let's go take a break and come back to talk more about how you can control your anger. Welcome back, dear viewers. Now, uh, before the break, I was just talking a little bit about how you can manage your anger, and a lot of people use the excuse that it might relieve them uh, when they do express their anger. Now, we do remind everyone to call in and, and participate in tonight's episode and let us know how you manage your anger and what tips you use to manage your anger. Number shown at the bottom, call us, text us, send us a voice message, all of that good stuff. But anger, it's a normal emotion. It's not something that a person, um, you know, only specific people go through. No, no, no. Everyone has faced this problem once or twice or 50 or million times within their lives. Um, the people that mostly get angry, uh, and I don't know, is, is it safe to say the married ones sometimes do get more angry than, 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 the, uh, than the single ones? because uh, of the children, the stress, and then the responsibility on the children. We'll get to talk about that later on. But it's, it's, it's a, a normal emotion that a person goes through. But what's important is to deal with it in a positive way. Where, because, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people, when they do say something, um, it's, it's impulsive. It's not, uh, it might not be themselves. Um, and sometimes an action might lead to you know certain things so we have to always look at some tips that's why we have for you guys 10 tips today how to manage your anger number one is think before you speak and that's very important thinking before you speak is one of the um, tips that you know I need and everyone needs because sometimes I do get angry um, and uh, so right there it's 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 basically what what you what you need so think before you speak. If it's true, so T as in, is it true? H, is it helpful? I, is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? K, is it kind? If you don't know how to read, I just read that out for you guys. Uh, I don't know why, but you know, I just like to be nice to guys. But yeah, um, so and a wise person once said, I wish that my neck was as long as a camel's so I would think twice before saying something. If you think or if you know who that wise person is, very, very, very famous person um, and very high respected person, do comment and let us know who you think that person is. Um, because, you know, a lot of people, just, just a quick, a lot of people will say, why not as long as a giraffe's neck, it's longer. No, 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 giraffes don't have voice. Camels have voice. This person is the wisest person this planet has ever seen. But, um, this brings us to the other tip. Once you're calm, express your anger. So what do I mean by that? You know, you're expressing your anger and then you're calm at the same time? Yes, when you're calm, you're able to think more, you're able to solve problems, you know, in, in a safer way. Um, you're able to think better in a situation, a tough situation, especially if it's uh, family related, if it's uh, you know, friends related, and so on and so forth. This brings us to the third tip, which is do some exercise. When you're angry, just run out of the house, just jog out of the house, or you know, just keep like a jump rope in your pocket just in case uh, you get angry and start uh, skipping some rope, uh, do some jumping jacks and uh, you know, run like this guy, run out of the house. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but do some exercise, because honestly, um, and this is uh, very important and very um, effective as well. Um, exercise really helps a person relax uh, and changes the mood a lot, but, 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 three times, we just have received a text message from Sarah D. from India. 
Uh, anger is a normal emotion. However, it can get you in trouble if you can't keep it under control. Well, for me, the best way is breathing out as per religion terms ablution, okay? Breathing out, ablution, okay, terms ablution is the best way to deal with anger. Okay, so she means wudu. Okay, so she, she, she means wudu. Um, so she does ablution, religious wudu before prayer. Uh, that also, if, if it works for you, that's beautiful. If it does work for you, everyone else, if you're angry, go try that. If it doesn't work, try something else. We'll get to find out what. But, uh, but yeah, sorry, I uh, forgot to write her name. Sarah, Sarah D. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Sarah, for joining us tonight from India. Your name will place in the fishbowl. First name for today. Uh, now, we were just talking about um, running away, uh, not running away from how from home, uh, but just taking, uh, just doing exercise when uh, when you're angry, uh, or according to Sarah, uh, go do wudu because uh, might help uh, for you guys. But another tip: take a timeout. You know, don't think if you take a timeout, you're a kid now. No, 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 no. Taking a timeout is something good. You know, you're you're when you're angry, sometimes uh, you get like a kid, you become like a kid, you start whining over stuff. Um, so do take that time out, especially if you're going through a rough day. Uh, you know, the, when a person goes through a rough day, especially in Ramadan, people's tempers are out of the roof. You know, any small thing can get on uh, a Muslim fasting uh, on, on their nerves. So what you need to do is breathe in, inhale from your nostrils, exhale from your mouth. So join me. As your one and only inhales, as uh, the, the, the producer just said. But we just received an audio message from Hawra from Canada. What does Hawra say? Uh, I think anger is a very strong emotion. It is an emotion very hard to control or manage. I think one of the ways to manage anger is through saying Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Muhammad or just kind of calming yourself down and understanding the situation you're in and is anger really going to help you solve that problem I think that when you're in a problem and then you get angry it will only make matters worse so I think just being calm during frustrating situations and understanding the situation is one of the steps into managing your anger mm. thank you Thank you very much, Hawra. And uh, if, if that works for you as well, that's beautiful. Uh, saying Salat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. So let's all say Salat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Uh, Hassan, Mustafa, everyone join me. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Uh, but Hawra. To my right, yeah, I know that. I can see. But yeah. Hawra. All right, Hawra from Canada, your name is going into the fishbowl. All right, thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. Now, a, so another tip from Hawra we got is saying salawat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad when you're angry and trying to solve the solution when you're calm instead of when you're angry and your actions are all impulsive. You just want to fight back. You just want to uh, prove uh, your anger, improve your emotions. Um, so do, do stay calm. Um, now, another tip is identify problem solutions. So if a person is irritating you, which sometimes a lot happens to me, people sometimes irritate me in certain things, uh, you know, uh, especially, uh, well, I don't want to go there, but uh, if someone bothers you, or, or uh, a he or a she, try to ignore them. Go somewhere else where they're not there. Don't look at them if, if they have to be there. If you're in a car, don't just like park in the middle of the road and just go to the car. No, no, no. Just ignore them. That's very important as well. And there's an Arabic saying, Alaqi specifically, that says, um, the air, <laughs> the, close the door from which the wind blows and relax. So what means is that if there's a headache coming your way from a certain person, 
ignore them. Ig ignore that person. You don't have to, um, you know, uh, continue on being there and listening to what they have to say. That's important as well. Now, another tip, tip number six. Stick with the I statement. And this is very important as well. Always try to calm yourself down by maybe saying to yourself, sometimes maybe I was the person that caused that problem. Maybe I was the reason. So keeping that in mind and thinking about going back to possible solutions, thinking about different solutions might calm you down. And it's a high chance that it will. Tip number seven, don't hold grudges towards anyone. And this is very important as well. You know, um, it's mentioned in the Bible, it's mentioned in the Torah, it's mentioned in, in the Quran, that a person who forgives, he's actually doing a trait that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, the all forgiving. So when you, do, when, when you forgive, that's number one, it's relieving your stress. Because you know that if you, and th th there's a hadith for that as well by Imam Sadiq who says whoever forgives, Allah forgives his sins. Um, so do forgive when someone angers you, do forgive. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's something very, very nice. We just, read we just received another text message from Ali Kazmi from the United States. He says, for anger, what works on me is reading salawat three times and sending salutations to Imam Hussein or reading Dua Al Faraj. Okay, if that works, perfect. Perfect. Ali Kazm. Oh, Kazmi. Okay. Okay. So Ali Kazmi from the United States. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Now, uh, before we move on to the eighth tip, let's go and uh, check out the Islamic counselor, um, a.k.a. Burak Hussein, the Islamic counselor, psychotherapist joining us tonight. Let's talk about other tips of how you can manage your anger. So to that, we'll be back very short. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, this is Sister Barak Hussein, psychotherapist, the Muslim counselor. Let's talk about anger and how it affects us and what are the responses that we have to it. It's a natural phenomenon that happens to us when we become upset with something and it's a natural response that comes out of us when we are triggered by something. And it's important to understand and learn how to manage it better so that we don't come out with explosive emotions that could hurt ourselves and people around us. So step number one to managing anger involves researching your anger. So this means looking at the triggers that cause you to feel angry or upset or irritated. So sometimes it's a physical response such as clenching or tightening of the jaws or sometimes our stomach gets upset or sometimes we start speaking louder or we speak lower. So it's really important to understand what are your personal responses to anger. Sometimes it could be an emotion and we replace the word anger with let's say irritation or upset or annoyed or bothered. So it's really important to recognize what are those triggers ahead of time. So researching that and also writing a list perhaps of what are your triggers to understand that are talking it over with somebody who knows you or who lives with you to give you a better perspective of that. So step number one, research your anger and know what your triggers are. Step number two is to cool down, which is probably very, very hard. Step number one, looked at looking at those triggers ahead of time so you have more opportunity to catch your anger before it gets to that point. So when you have that awareness, then you can cool down. So during this step, we all have different responses to how we can cool down. Very effective techniques include deep breathing. So breathing in through your nose, holding your breath, and then exhaling out through your mouth. This has proven to help with stress lowering the stress response in our body because what happens when you get angry is that your heart starts pounding you start sweating you just it becomes really hard to think properly because our frontal lobe which is where our emotions are situated in our brain and our amygdala in there they become really triggered and it's hard to think clearly when you are overstimulated like that so doing the breathing technique muscle tension relaxation perhaps going for a run writing a letter ripping it up or perhaps punching a pillow 
The point is, is to get that excess anger out of your body physically and emotionally and mentally so that you can start cooling down. Step number two. Step number three involves after the cooling down is after you've thought things through. Um, of course, by the way, for step number two, cooling down also involves stepping away from the situation. So leaving the room, telling the person, I need to go cool down and then I will speak with you later. So step number three now is after you've cooled down and you've managed to, you know, do your deep breathing or whatever it is that you need to do to cool down is to set up a time to talk about what are the things that are upsetting you. So you can talk about it with your partner, your friend, or your colleague, a sibling, whoever it is. So set some rules, basic rules such as no name calling, no being rude or anything like that. And you want to have a very effective discussion where it would contribute to solving the issue. So for example, when you are having this discussion, you don't want to have ac accus accusative type of statements. So you don't want to accuse the person. So using I statements. So for example, I felt very upset and unheard when I didn't get to finish what I wanted to say, rather than saying, you interrupted me, you did not let me speak. This right away puts the person on the defense. So when you bring it back to you and say, like we said, you know, I didn't get a chance to finish what I wanted to say and that made me upset. Taking ownership of that gives the opportunity again for the other person to hear you and be listened to. There's all sorts of other statements that you could make that could bring it back to you and you can cool down the situation and open up the communication with the other person where you're actually discuss discussing these issues. And finally, it's really important to understand that it's never okay to be abusive or violent when anger is involved. So if you're in a situation and it's getting out of hand like that, it's really important to understand that you have no right to give that kind of negative um, response to people around you. It's never okay to be violent or abusive. And of course, if you are at the receiving end of it, it's to try and get out of that situation. So the three steps we took a look at in terms of managing anger are researching your anger, cooling down and actually having an appropriate time and place to discuss this with somebody. So key thing in all of this is to understand awareness, being aware of how you respond to anger so that you can learn to catch it on sooner, manage it sooner. And it is very possible. I mean, I see a lot of clients who come in, I want to learn how to manage my anger. You know, I have a really fiery temper, et cetera, et cetera. And with practice, with meditation, with breathing, it becomes really possible inshallah to to work on your anger that way and of course any other um, habit or um, maladaptive behavior that we want to change inshallah till next time take care assalamu alaikum <laughs>
tomorrow, inshallah, we're, we're going to give a, a special shout out to everyone that has uh, continuously participated in the show. Um, so we'll jot their names down uh, fully. We have, I think, um, 10 people joining us every night. Um, uh, and participating, not joining us, but participating every night. Um, so we'll give them a special shout out in tomorrow's episode, inshallah. Uh, but going back to the topic, um, but for those, we, we are getting a few uh, Facebook uh, comments. We'll get to them, but whoever comments during the live show, your names will also be placed, uh, whether in the show or after the show. Uh, if we don't get to them after the show, definitely into uh, the fishbowl. Now, going back to the topic, we talked about the tips. Um, number nine, tip number nine, we got to tip number nine. Um, practice relaxation skills. If you guys have watched Bad Boys 2, not giving a shout out, but you know, if, if you guys have watched that, um, and, and they do the woo sa when, the, when they rub their back of the ears, woo sa. If that works for you, uh, then go ahead, man, go try it out. But uh, tip number 10, know when to seek help and that's very important because a lot of people tend to get over angry and over emotional uh we have a few guys but uh, you know uh we don't want to give names but you know they get over emotional um uh, we call them ihsas. Uh, more you know exaggerate so go and get help um when they're angry they start cursing and stuff go get and they get angry very easily go get help it will help you a lot and it'll make you a better person. Now, moving on to the third segment of today, and that's looking at the narration of Ahl Bayt and looking at the per Islamic perspective of how a person can manage their anger. Now, from the hadith, we have Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa alayhi wa sallam, uh, who says, I like that shot today. Uh, shout out to Mustafa Nadir and shout out to Hassan al on my, on my left. But uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi wa sallam, he says, anger spoils faith as honey spoils vinegar. So let's repeat that. Anger spoils faith as honey uh, spoils vinegar. So it's very dangerous for you. Another narration by Prophet Muhammad says, anger is an enemy, so don't let it control you. You know, in a fight, you don't want the enemy to control you. You want to control your enemy. Now, with anger as well, it's a fight. So don't let uh, anger control you. Another narration, he says, when anger comes over you, then overcome it with forbearance and dignity. And that's very, very important for tonight. Very important. Let it, let us be, or let us have the trait of forbearance and let us have the trait of dignity because all of us do need that. But for tonight, we're trying to tell everyone just chillax. You don't need to get angry because life isn't worth it. Uh, you know, if you lose a million dollars, um, I would get angry. But, you know, just don't get angry. Uh, and just, just follow the tips that we mentioned and do follow the tips of Sister Barak Hussain who has joined us again in tonight's episode. Finally, finally, I would like to say thank you for everyone for tuning in tonight. And uh, we are live every night up until Eid. Uh, Eid is where we do the final draw for everyone that has participated and we'll get the names who, uh, one name wins a free trip to Karbala and other many, many giveaways to those who participated uh, in the show. Thank you very much. This is Ahmed Ali live from the Holy City of Karbala, the late night talk, hashtag guarantee. Shout out to all the, uh, the crew of Hashtag LNT. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.